Hello, grown up baby. We haven't been vlogging for a while, so I'm back with vlogging. Good morning, beautiful yogis. Um, we are making coffee this morning, and I'm using one of those little hey <laughs> hand windmills to grind my beans. This is the AeroPress part. It supposedly extracts all the essential oils and the flavors in the coffee properly and yields a better cup of coffee. So that's why I bought it. And because of its size, it's a really small contraption compared to a coffee machine. So I figured let's simplify the kitchen. I made this. I made um, cucumber and zucchini noodles, both are, both are in here and the dressing is uh, half a zucchini dates, PB powder, I'll post uh, the recipe on my website, a date, hemp powder and water and a little bit of stevia. So all of this is a dressing for my zucchini noodles. I also had the same thing in a dip, oh and one persimmon. Here are um, the remaining. <laughs> ingredients of my uh, dip. The persimmon is a thickener so if you have persimmon use it as a thickener because it will make the whole dressing very thick. I'm happy enough to have this fresh California medjool dates. I have two more boxes. This is the end of one box. Um, so they are um, contributing calories plus the hemp seed. So this is my f first meal of the day although it is um, it's it's late I, I started eating at three but with a lot of interruptions with baby it's now four it's dragging on because i take a few bites and then i have to go do something plus i'm editing a class that i just shot on posture 15 minute class on posture now um uh for morning i will try to include uh, a photo or i will shoot it tomorrow for a drink you know it's been uh, winter the reason why I'm making these dips is because the fruit is not very exciting. I love to eat pure fruit when the fruit is good, but right now it's just really not exciting. The apples are so-so, everything is kind of so-so. So, um, so I'm just not very excited about any food and that is why I make dips and I dip apples in those dips. I ate probably four apples, so I'm having big meals just so that I'm keeping up with my breastfeeding and breast milk supply and if I happen to have a small meal like a small lunch then dinner will be big but I have two meals and I make sure to have enough calories and especially enough carbohydrates because that's predominantly what milk is made out of if you have enough greens that will contribute to your omega trees hemp chia flax I mostly have greens some um, melons and cauliflower as my omega supply now uh, one thing I wanted to touch upon, I don't know if you guys hydrate enough, uh, but in winter and now our a uh, heater is broken for a whole week, it's pretty cold, I'm not very excited about drinking pure water, so what I do is I put half a persimmon in the blender with a little bit of stevia and water and I blend that with uh, two cups, two glasses of water and that is like a sweetened water drink that makes me just go it quickly and i'm done with a lot of the hydration or drink it and enjoy it maybe not well it, maybe sip it with enjoyment um so that's my first meal of the day uh, i'm sure my last meal will be similar because i haven't gone shopping and what i have is tomatoes dates and such things so i'm gonna just improvise and and create something with what i have Um, so for breastfeeding it's been really good I'm having a lot of milk like a lot of milk um, and 
and it's uh, I've breastfed exclusively even now 90 something percent of her nutrition comes from milk because I breastfed her before eating and after eating and I introduce things slowly to her so that her digestive system is fine with it we hurried up in the beginning because she wasn't ready but I was teaching uh, the workshop so we gave her bananas and melons and watermelons and such things and she had a rush here every time she ate so we backed off and now she doesn't get rushes um, when I feed her so um, that's for my meal it's uh, this dip is totally recommended if you're not loving apples or if you're not loving fruit at the moment it will make you eat them because it is delightful did you guys hear one word I said or did you watch this munchkin say mama 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 Now for the noodles, I am simplifying my kitchen, it's kind of always been simple but now it's even more simple so I'm just using this which is a pillar and it creates noodles kind of like a grater. I'll list it below, I'll list the PB powder I love below. Mm, I'll use whatever I'm, I'll list below whatever I'm using. I use the organic ones because peanuts tend to uh, have pesticides on them. I also use organic stevia mostly and oh and the hemp heart so those are very versatile you can make uh, different dips and dressings and such uh, whenever you don't want to eat pure food uh, like right now I'm really craving pure melons and whenever I get them yesterday I had melons and melons and melons but today I don't have melons and that's okay I will still make a really healthy meal and you do need the omega trees because they're good for brain development and for your breast milk and um, you could also add alfalfa or um, something green uh, to the uh, to, uh, to the dip in general you can be very creative let me know if you want more of those videos uh, below and make sure to comment like and subscribe so that I know that you want me to make those so I'm having a third bowl of this as I'm walking around and funny thing is Lottie's favorite thing in the world is cucumber if I put a bunch of foods on her uh, table and one of them is cucumber she won't touch the other stuff she loves all foods except for I notice she doesn't want any persimmons she doesn't like them the weird thing though is she throws up the cucumbers so I can't give them to her she would, she would like scream for them just like that and if I give them to her she would eat them and then just kind of puke them up so I I don't know if you know anything about that let me know I'm sure she'll grow out of it but we have to somewhat avoid cucumbers right mama mm. and she started giving me kisses Lottie that's a so I had four full glasses of that buffet this big glass before dinner and and for dinner i have no idea what i'll create but i have zucchini and i have a big bag of tomatoes organic tomatoes so something along those lines i haven't had oh hello sophie so i'm using a few persimmons uh, oh this one is ready i'm using some persimmons for um, my dressing because they're really nice for thickening baby is playing in here I have a zucchini uh, and a persimmon under it and hemp seeds and water and uh, I'll blend this as um, kind of like a dressing for my um, tomatoes. So I have chopped some tomatoes and cucumbers for my um, salad 
and they will go into this massive bowl. Um, again, I got it from Trader Joe's. It's really good. Either balsamic or this is good. This is a pomegranate um, vinegar. It's sweet and very flavorful. So I'll put a little bit of that. And the fat source is the hemp seeds. So that's that's my dinner. But I'm sure I'll have another bowl and maybe apples, dates. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll just basically see if I'm very hungry I'll create something a little heavier and so forth I go by my cravings and generally get about 1600 to 3000 calories on a different day um, and it doesn't seem to affect me sometimes when I'm traveling and stuff and the calories are lower because I've eaten a lot of, I've eaten a lot of melons or something lower in calorie but higher in hydration doesn't seem to affect my milk supply and on the contrary so the body knows how to balance itself I just go by my cravings I do crave very pure foods like before breastfeeding and pregnancy I was more like interested in like nice creations like the dips with the apples now I really don't want to have that and if I have pure fruit I'll just have that pure flavors I would just prefer that over anything but it has to be good quality if it's not good quality fruit then I'll create this type of creations the tomatoes are really delicious the cucumbers are really delicious but I finished them I have a ton of zucchini a ton of dates and I'll just create a few things with them up until I go shopping. Hopefully tomorrow. Dinner, so that, there is the tikka look, masala. Look at this face. Sophie's desperate. Puree for a baby zucchini, persimmon, and hemp. And I forgot, did it have a date? Or um, date earlier, not date now. Earlier I put dates. And she's eating apple. And she'll have some of that puree as well. Are you ready? She loves apple pieces and cucumber pieces. Are you feeding me? Are you feeding me? <laughs> I guess the puree will be later when she gets bored with her mama. apple. You want mama? You want some? She's she kind of likes purees and she kind of likes me feeding her. We're doing both baby lay, but a little bit of those two because. Thank you. They're also good for babies. We're doing what she likes most and which is the foods that she loves. Grapes is her favorite. Apples and cucumbers. And she likes some purees, but she can eat a lot of grapes. Baked apples she loves. What do you think? Is this good or not so much? <laughs> it's not as good as apple. All right. So clearly she prefers apple slices because she wouldn't do the puree if there is some... Um, a slice, but now she likes the puree. I want her to have a little bit of both. And she makes this poker face. <laughs> Feeding her the puree is just worth that. <laughs> yeah, poker face. Mm -hmm. And then. So we read some stories and I need a little snack. I'm still hungry. So this is what I'm gonna have. I mean, I had to literally dig out of the freezer or whatever we had there. I really love those. They're pretty good. So I'm gonna heat this up and have it. So Lottie is really into that chewy. And I was reading a very interesting article on babies and how they're different than humans. And uh, it was interesting because babies are different in quite a few ways. They have 300 bones 
when they're born and adults have 206 and they fuse um, baby's bones fuse into to create just 206 later on um, then babies uh, grow a mustache which is the hair that covers the whole body and then before birth that uh, um, the baby loses the hair and it eats it that's what the article said because it was trying to be funny so basically they because I'm sure it's in the um, amniotic fluid and they and just consume the hair that dropped um, then uh, babies can swallow and breathe at the same time and try doing that it's not gonna happen it's not gonna work and um, what else was different about babies uh, Johnny do you remember what was that different about babies um, oh they have yeah. superpowers oh yeah but they don't speak either <laughs> They have superpowers. <laughs> Funny. Um, they have superpowers. So basically, a baby can lift their own weight. How weird is that? Yeah, real strong. Uh, so they're kind of like they were giving in that article the analogy of the ant that can carry 50 times its uh, her weight. Well, babies are not that strong, but they're uh, like Superman strong. I, I really feel it when she grabs onto my beard and pulls it. <laughs> yeah, or when she scratched me what, what right the there. Oh, they have. A ton of taste receptors, uh, so well, they're all like about. A, like a tongue twist. Yeah, um, they're all about you know how things taste, and they can taste. Uh, they basically have a ton, uh, taste receptors on the sides of their cheeks, on the top of their mouth, on the palate, and in places where we don't. I forget how many taste receptors they have, but they have far more taste receptors than we do and they have they can literally taste um, uh, basically they really experience food far more than we do I, I guess that's why baby food should be kind of more bland because they can they love it uh, she really loves cucumbers it's weird how much she loves cucumbers she would take them over any sweet thing um, there was other things that and babies uh, despite the fact that babies have so many bones they don't have knees <laughs> knee bones um, that's true they grow knee later knees later I think kneecaps I think it's because they're crawling and they need to um, not hurt their kneecaps for the crawling <clears throat> also they bend so much and bend in each and every way so I guess that also helps <laughs> she's sitting that's her favorite little toy for teething and there were other uh, amazing facts about babies but I'll leave it at that so that I don't bore you and maybe share the other ones in another vlog <laughs> there it is this is almost done conversations with my daughter but for a very simple reason Ernie let's understand who and what God is Who likes peace? Hmm? Who likes peace, huh? Hmm? Da? Who likes peace? Bravo! Bravo! Last time we gave her peace, she just arranged them in a corner and didn't need them. She arranged them with the um, with the corn and carrots so now she likes them but she likes to be fed we'll see how try paste again So that was from me for this episode and make sure to like and comment and let me know what you want to see and I will see you soon. Namaste.